a drive. I gave into the meme culture and I went to go see the new Barbie movie. The movie sucks. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you want to go watch it, go watch it. I'm not gonna ruin it for you. Personally, it's not a movie made for a guy like me. But there is one thing I'm gonna talk about, and that is Ryan Gosling's physique. I'm always speaking about how you need to build a physique that girls actually like, not just for other guys. So many guys, they get into bodybuilding, they get into weightlifting just to build a physique that isn't even aesthetic to begin with. But Ryan's Gosling physique in this movie, in his freaking 40s, is ideal. It's pretty much exactly what you want as a man. So today I'm going to tell you exactly how to achieve his physique in the movie Barbie. Let's get it. Ryan Gosling got paid millions of dollars to look like the human version of Ken. So obviously you need a physique that looks just like a model physique. So what are some of the characteristics that actually make this look aesthetic? It comes down to a couple things. Number one, obviously body fat, body fat, body fat. It doesn't matter how much muscle mass you have. If you're not at a low body fat percentage, nobody will be able to see it. And there's also a couple other things Ryan Gosling does specifically for this role that makes him stand out a little bit more. Number two is going to be his fake tan. So he does this spray tan. You could do this if you want. So you can get a real tan, which is what I advocate. But either way, this is going to make the muscles pop way more, make you look more aesthetic. He also obviously bleaches his hair, which is something that I think looks pretty sick. I mean, look at Alex Eubank. He bleached his hair. He looks like a completely different person with bleached hair. So maybe try it out. If you look sick with it and you're super shredded, it can be a pretty cool look. The last reason it's so aesthetic is because it's Ryan Gosling. I mean, you have the genetics before but either way man once you build the physique you will be pretty aesthetic or to estimate ryan is about 10 percent body fat in the movie barbie now he advocates a couple things first of all intermittent fasting he says that he specifically eats from 11 a.m and then his last cutoff meal is going to be 7 p.m this is actually my exact same window and this is always what i advocate for a couple of reasons man it's going to boost hh by up to 2000 percent up to the 24 hour marker it's also going to boost testosterone and best of all you're in that caloric deficit you're going to feel pretty hungry only eating in a select window makes you feel a lot more full and you're also gonna have a lot more control over your craving. The majority of you guys watching this, you have to be in a caloric deficit to actually get to this. So I'm gonna advocate to you, take your current body weight in pounds, multiply this by 10, and this should be your daily calories that you're going for. Now, once you get to that 15% body fat mark, this is whenever we need to make some adjustments. So you're gonna go a little bit higher with the calories. So like 250 to 500 under maintenance. Calculate maintenance, take your current weight wherever you're at, at this 15% body fat, and then multiply by 15. This is a good estimate. So eat 250 to 500 calories less than that. Then you're also gonna wanna start intermittent refeed days so about once a week, maybe every two weeks. It kinda depends on your metabolism and what's going on. Naturally, your body does not wanna be underneath this 15% body fat marker. So this is why we have to do the refeed days. It's pretty much telling your body, hey man, like I have enough nutrients, I have enough calories. It's okay if you use this body fat as a fuel source. This is why so many guys are in the deficit, they hit that plateau. They don't even know what to do. Some of them go more aggressive. This is the wrong move. Do this until you're 10% body fat. This will pretty much give you most of the aesthetics to look like Ryan Gosling's kin in the movie Barbie. Workouts is obviously going to be the key aspect of this. They said that he did a five-time weekly bro split. So this is going to be like a chest day, shoulder day, leg day, core day. This is not going to be the most ideal. Personally, I think because Ryan's already built a physique in the past, now he doesn't have to do an advance two times a week per body part split. And so he can get away with the once a week and still look pretty aesthetic just because he's sustaining muscle that he previously built. The most ideal way to get this physique, in my opinion, is five to six times a week. You want some sort of split. So I'm going to give you a five times weekly split that you can do to achieve his physique. Two days out of the week is going to be an anterior chain day. So this could be Monday, Thursday, for example. And so this is going to be the chest and shoulders and then the triceps as well. So a good way to break this up, it should only be about an hour and a half, just the same amount of time that Ryan works out past this, the cortisol will spike and it's no longer as effective. So the best way to break this down, do a heavy shoulder press exercise and a heavy bench press exercise for about five, six, eight, reverse pyramid style, rest about two to three minutes. And then after this, do chest, shoulders, and tricep pump exercises in the eight to 15 range. Past 15, it's just endurance. You want to rest about 60 to 90 seconds. It's basic stuff. Workout number two is going to be back and legs. So for example, you can do this Tuesday and Friday. So the best way to split this up, do a heavy squatting exercise, such as Bulgarian split squats, and then do a heavy pulling exercise, such as heavy weighted chin-ups. And then after this, pump up the legs and pump up the back. Same rep ranges as workout A. And then workout C is going to be an accessory day. So you can do this, for example, on a Wednesday. So that would have you working on Monday through Friday consistently about 90 minutes every single day. Now the accessory day is gonna be very simple, man. It's gonna be when you do the heavy weighted abdominal crunches, like the heavy weighted cable crunches. 
the wrist curls to pump up the forearms, the neck curls to get that thick aesthetic neck, just like Ryan Gosling in the movie. Any other insecurities that you have, you can do it on this day. And it'll help really round out the physique. Personally, I love to hit traps as well on this day. And whatever you are lacking to get closer to the kin physique, this is the day when you want to focus on. Get that fake tan, get the body fat percentage, get the bleach hair. Most of all, get the energy, get that fashion. Get a button up shirt and leave it wide open to show off the abs for everybody to see. Because you did not work this hard to hide that six pack. I believe in you. Look at the description box. If you need help chiseling this physique, I've chiseled hundreds, thousands of physique. Into the Ken Barbie shape if you need help. You could be the next client. Also, KaloSeek.com for the best supplements in the fitness industry. Don't forget to subscribe, man. Best self improvement channel on YouTube. That's it. I love you guys.